Yo, what's going on, guys? And today I wanted to talk about Willie Hernan Gomez, Jose Alvarado, and a bunch of the young guys on this Pelicans team because I think this Pelicans team is a good... Okay, it has the potential to become, if Zion Williamson does return healthy, next year to be very good. And it has a lot of talent with young guys who can develop into very good role players or, you know, starters for this team. Obviously, we can talk about Herb Jones one, already putting himself as one of the best multi-positional defenders in the league and looks like he could become one of the better two-way players in the NBA. He's not a bad ball handler. He can play make and, you know what, he can shoot it. And we all know about him. I've made videos on him. We all love Herb Jones. I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of guys like Willie Hernan Gomez, you know, Najee Marshall, Trey Murphy the third, Jose Alvarado, Willie Hernan Gomez, all those guys that I've mentioned. And we're going to talk about them because I think it's been interesting. First off, Jose Alvarado, he's coming out there looking like a defensive menace, okay? Just for the month of, you know, January, he's averaging over 12 games in, in he's played 12 games 14 minutes a night. He's averaging 1.4 steals a game. Okay. I, I think that's something that is amazing. He's showing these nimble hands. Okay. And what I think Jose Alvarado reminds me of it's, he kind of has a combination of Raul Neto with TJ McConnell. Okay. He, I, on defense, he's very reminiscent of TJ McConnell, a little bit shorter on his ability to you know, pickpocket and force turnovers on the defense. But then I do believe that, like, I do see his off-ball tendencies to be similar to Raul Neto as he's able to, you know, he's shown the ability to be a, not a bad catch-and-shoot player, okay? And a catch-and-shoot three-point shooter. I know over the last 10 games, he's been 26, and for the season, he's 26 point percent three-point shooter but on some nights that three-point shot does hit and i think it's just something about consistency and getting that the work ethic in there like and subscribe for more daily videos on a regular basis about 100 videos a month three videos a day at the very least and yeah let me hear those thoughts down below what do you guys think of the normal pelicans and even jackson hayes but i really like willie hernan gomez his rebounding ability and his he can actually like, he's a very efficient scorer, and I think he can be a high-level backup. And I know they have Jonas Valanciunas, but I would really like them to start playing Willie Hernan Gomez and Jackson Hayes more. Jackson Hayes being the sprungy guy, Willie Hernan, Willie Hernan Gomez being more the physical guy. And those guys, they can literally just take them off the floor and replace them with one another. And they both can just be, like, the center rotation with arguably the small ball five. You guys could run Gary Clark as the small ball five, and you have that three-man rotation if you wanted to phase out Jonas Valanciunas and maybe even trade him. But I know they want to keep him because, like, it keeps them from maybe even – if they keep Jonas, they'll be closer to being a play-in team, which I think they want to be at the very least. And I really like the idea of, you know, a future roster being either Jack Jackson Hayes or Willie Hernan Gomez at the starting center, Herb Jones, you know, at the power forward position. This is if Zion's still out. Brandon Ingram at the small forward position, or you, you could really argue, yeah, small forward position, then Josh Hart at the shooting guard position. Those are your three wings, and then you have the point guard position, Devontae Graham. And Devontae being backed up by Jose Alvarado. Shooting guard, you have Nikhil Alexander-Walker backing up Josh Hart, and you can also argue Trey Murphy's backing up Brandon Ingram, and so is Na Najee Marshall, who Najee Marshall, in my opinion, has been better than Brandon, not Brandon Ingram, but Trey Murphy the third. Trey Murphy the third, he's had some struggles. I think it's because of his size. He needs to put more muscle on his frame. He just, he physically, he's getting outmatched out there, and that's why he just can't be on the floor. And Najee Marshall can guard multiple positions, and he's just been able to be on the floor. Gary Clark looks like he's a good backup power forward for Herb Jones. And, you know, right now they run like, you could argue they were running Jonas Valanciunas or Willie Herning. I don't know who they run at power forward. Like last night they were running, my apology, I didn't mean to say Willie Herning goes. They were running Herb Jones last night at the power forward position with Gary Gary Temple at the small forward. So I, I definitely think their their lineups are definitely interesting on my part. They have a lot of options, but I, want, I definitely want to hear what you guys think about this team. I think it's the amount of options they have on this the squad, It's it's incredible. I also am going to get a haircut tomorrow because I'm sick and tired of my hair. So it's something I do want to do it's so bad. But yeah, I think this they need to give their play. Herb, Herb Jones is getting the playing time he deserves. Jose Alvarado is starting to get it. Hopefully Willie Hernan, Hernan Gomez can. I mean, it's because of like injuries and protocol. But I do think guys like Gary Clark, Jackson Hayes, okay, Jose Alvarado, you know, Willie Hernan Gomez, Herb Jones, 
Trey Murphy the third, Najee Marshall, Gary Clark should all be getting more playing time on this team. I don't I just don't know where we're going as a squad. So why not, you know, focus on making sure your your squad is good, you know? And I think that's definitely something in my opinion that's important. Again, guys, if you made it to this far in the video, I would love you those opinions down below. Like and subscribe and do all that good stuff. Till next time, guys, put peace out.